Alright, let's see. There's the event going on now, but I still got time for each. Right now, I guess I'm gonna go for Astra. this quest. Thank you for comp That's area of Sumeru. <laughs> I'm still not sure if I'll be able to complete this today based on the last time to go. Quests. This will probably take quite a while. And that's probably part of his power now. So we hold my Marwenna. The power to resist Marwenna now, but don't stretch too far from my side. F -f Flying too fast, Arama. Is that so? Sorry, but based on how you float, you shouldn't be exhausting any stamina. Arama must be fully focused to fly, so it is exhausting. Arama just fly at the speed of a sailing, right? A city. Uh, in the ancient star cities were a great race with wisdom and beauty beyond the pale of this earth. Uh, they travel with Nara and Thalnara languages and the philosophy of nature. Mm, but I thought that they were just large but annoying fireflies that lives around by the nose. Cities are just empty husks that race left behind. This is because they were born with a curse. If they fall in love with Nara, they shall lose their intelligence and strength, and their bodies will regress. Uh, there was, was a survivor of the race deep within the Golden Desert, who was friends with Queen Araniani and the ruler of Luka. Perhaps there are more stars to be found in eternal oasis. Oh, I don't think it's the king he's talking about. Anyway, don't fly too fast. Anyway, this city is annoying me. Is there a reason why I thought it was a star? Yes, so you see, at their prime, the cities were probably faster than a star. Plus, isn't I'm not tired? We can rest while I thought stories about Starbo. Uh, you even know how to be evasive now, Arama. It will really change. Anyway, uh, this was our first homeland, Vanarana. Ah, so Vanarana means homeland. Rana. They call uh, forests Vana, right? Ah, Vana may be land, actually. Yeah. Um. Aranara used to live here before the disaster, and many Nara have visited us. Before the disaster, I was saying that, yes, uh, and you've been the second Vanarana. Meanwhile, Morana's avatar is imprisoned by three seals deep within this place. Three inscriptions of remembrance are needed to undo the first seal. While the landscape here is a little different from the memories I received, I have a rough idea of where they are. Anyway, Morana is very dangerous. Nara Egan Spymo, I recommend we match each other's pace. Let me know when you're ready to set out. First seal, so we must find the three inscriptions of memories just for the first seal. 
It's so troublesome. Why does earning have to be done three times? Because it's video game. Theater 3 or 4. They don't call it the rule of 3 for nothing. Yeah, if rule was were here, I'm sure he and Arama will become friends real quick. Um, wasn't that question with rule kind of optional? Rule? Yes, he's a friend of ours. I see. I too wish to meet Nara in Zephyrmo's friends. A Nara who's friends with both of you is sure to be. For sure, agreed Nara. But it's alright. The past and the future meet in Sarva. A day will come when I'll have the honor of meeting this rule and becoming friends with him. By the way, there are actually four seals in prison, Marana. The first seal is the door of Vanna, which is right behind us. Uh, so Let's go. Uh, I want to rest. Okay, he didn't tell told us to go. If I said I want to rest a little longer, I'm tell me more stories. All right, we'll set out whatever you are ready. No. Hmm. Incoming mission. Let's go. Yeah, three seals feels like we have so much to do. Let's get moving. Yeah, let's go. to sense the memories in the description. Uh, so you two are a child of the forest. Since you are reading my inscription of your memories, Marana is gone, right? Uh, or perhaps you are here to put an end to it. There are many stories I wish to hear. Is Araja's dream beautiful? Are Arana and Araman doing well? I'm sure the new songs born into this world are absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's no rush to tell me anything, for I hear no more and see no more, but fret not, for we shall meet in Sarva. When the time comes, you can take your time to tell me the stories of the earth. Uh, this description is the work of Araji, Arayama and myself, our pride and joy. It's yours now. May the new dreams never experience Morana's corrosion, and may the old stories be forgotten alongside it. Description's gone. Worry, I've gained memories of far from you. Where are you? <laughs> this is home, he can maybe be Paris here. He's immense place time. The Paris were full bloom and they are not. Here's the weekend shoe. It's not even time to get into enemies and walk in rooms. Strider. 
Time to go. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see. Wind strider. Hey, what's up? Um, try to sense memories. Raj really wants to see one around the field with many, many flowers again. And birds on green trees while nursing with us under the trees. Marana really is terrifying, but thinking about scenes like that makes it less scary. Arayama said that Araj is very brave and that Araj should, should think about happy things when afraid. So Araj decided on the description's content, with the hopes that it will bring courage to you who have come to Vanarana that is beautiful no more. May the green fields and mountains never wither. May the streams stay clear and the forest remain in blue. Okay, Vanarana has returned. Once Vanarana is gone, in time's place to be filled with life again. I'm a lot of things that I won't have time to read. Solidify. <laughs> Can't see. Wind strider. Help. Let's nip that in the butt. <laughs> Time to go. Well, let's go. What's wrong? Uh, we will 
be victorious, the living will overcome the dead, and will meet again one day in Sarva. Friends will stroll through the forest again. That which is good will return, and the painful memories will vanish, just like a stream will find itself, or a withered tree sprouting once more. This is my inscription. Goodbye. I have all the inscriptions now. You can now undo the seal. In the memories of the past, the seal was beneath a large tree. Ah, we're here already. Is this the seal? What a huge tree hollow. And it's all thanks to you that I've been able to witness the old Vanarana and lay eyes on our original home. Thank you, Nara Ignis Paimon. Thank you, our Maha, Raj, and Arayama. Thank you for guarding the seal. Marana eventually managed to escape from to the outside world, but it's not your fault. Now I shall undo the seal which has existed for hundreds and thousands of moons. Mean the new uh Okay, both homeland dreams and stories can be Vanorana. Uh, may the new dreams never experience Marana's corruption and may the old stories be forgotten alongside it. May the new dreams never experience uh, may, the, uh, may the green fields. Oh, okay, it's the the three things I just read on descriptions. Uh, the seal has been lifted, this is the path forward, downward. Yeah, the second seal is up next. And let's go together, more version. Yeah, here. Oh. I can't step on it. Solidify. Okay, let's go. Oh. Wind Strider. In Shroud. Hey, can you go forge so I have a safe song? <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> As one with wind and cloud. This is order. Solidify. One with the forest. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Gather. No, not that. Where's the thing? Solidify.
Where the dendrogranus? What are you doing? Oh, you can do that automatically, okay. What's that? Was that our calorie? It just... No, it wasn't. I will needed help, so I hit the Marana very, very hard. I'm very pleased to say that I eliminated that evil tumor. May we never meet again, evil tumor? If hitting a tumor of the withering very, very hard can strike it, the R&R should be able to deal with the withering once and for all, right? No, it has to be hit very, very hard specifically. Most of R&R aren't that strong. Many, many suns must pass, then many, many moons must pass. When seed turns to tree, when stream turns to river, only then will Aranara possess such strength. I won't get it now, but you know, you're speaking normally again, Arana. I use too much strength just now. So many words, many memories gone with the wind. Now, oh, I will remember someone saying that memories are on our speck of strength. Do we? It's all Paimon's fault. Paimon's just trying to eliminate the withering here. Fine, use energy will come back slowly. I've absorbed the Ashvatha tree's memory, so recover even faster. When destroyed Morana's evil tumor, very good, very good. The series nearby, many different our Kalari. Here, keep Marana's avatar in, so he sent the evil tumor to damage the seal. That looks like Aradasha's stone lock, and this is the flower that seal Ashvat's comforts. Uh, it's Ayama's Arayama's flower. In the past, many Aranara found Marana here, and together they sealed this place. Marana's altar is very, very deep underground. Break the seal, then break the next seal, and we can face it and defeat it. How do you break the seals? I don't know, this place has changed so much, many memories lost too. I'm sorry, Narinus. Also, this puzzle will be a piece of cake, right? Pretty smart, I reckon. Almost ready, but I don't want to post. No, I'm pretty smart, I reckon. Whatever the case, let's do our best for a little while longer. We'll eliminate Baron's avatar and get the beach. Yeah, we can do it. I will stay and build up some strength. I need strength to face Marana's avatar. Uh, Alright, now I rest so that they can build up their strength and defeat Marana. Now I are amazing. Rest is meant to build up strength. Yeah, but not everyone has to fight Marana. And so, well, luckily Nara in Zepamo rested before coming. You will definitely defeat Marana's avatar now. There are some tiny lights around us that can resist Marana's corrosion. And protect Nara in Zepamo. You can rest if you want. Uh, Nara in Zepamo's rest. Uh. About Aradash. Aradash is very strong in the stories a very very long time ago. There was once a metal beast the size of a mountain and it could spit fire like shooting light beams. But Aradash bested the beast and imprisoned it with a lock of stone. He saved many Aranara. Stone. Yeah, we've only seen two of those. There are supposed to be three, right? Uh, Collins, I guess. Um, his legend was as dazzling as the sun, and many Aranara wish for their Aracalari to be as powerful as his. Well, the disaster it was very scary, even the sky turned black, and the trees swayed like a field of grass under strong wings, and they all fell to the ground. And then very, very scary monsters were everywhere. Many of the monsters in the memories I obtained looked very much like the monsters we've seen. Uh, like the black dogs, the huge metal beasts, and the Hilinara. Hilinara? But... 
are isn't this all this thing that happened here kind of maybe thousands of years ago are the Hilichurus uh, 500 years old Marana appeared during the disaster too and many grasslands were turned to sand that's why we found Marana in Suits Avatar Underground about the seal the seal was made by many Aranara we and they wanted to imprison Marana and stop it from harming Aranara Nara in the earth uh, later on, Marana slowly seeped into the ground like water, but we were in the dreams already and unaware that it had turned out so terrifying. Uh, no, let's get it over with first. Shall I think in the luck? Stabilize! Yeah. Okay, so I need to change. So maybe this too happened 500 years ago. Now oh, let's get her back in. Outrider Amber. That was supposed to be some, wasn't it? Let's 
single one. Shouldn't there be three? One with the forest. Oh, I skipped yeah. one. Yeah, why only one? Yeah. Don't we usually get three of those? In shroud. Come on. Huh. Where is it? I had to play a game? Why? Is there a chest here? Keep up. Ha. <laughs> Let it rain. Can't see. Time to go. One with the forest. Wind Strider! A walk would be. Alright, then. Arma, we're back. How are you feeling? Oh, I put up some strength. I'm fine. I can sense that the seal is broken. Now, leave the rest to me. There's so much sand here. I think it used to be a stone, it's to be stone soil, but Morana took away the life and moisture in the soil. Turning it into sand. Arana King hates sand. If only he could see this. Uh, Arana King hates sand. <laughs> uh, see what? Uh, see sand vanish. I wonder I thought that there would be such a deep space beneath the sands. Earth is made of soil, stone, and sand, and tree roots. So if sand is removed, a very, very large space will appear. Our Nara, Nara and animals can move within it. But more sand should have vanished to make more space and let us go deeper. That's it. Paimon saw many ruined machines while descending. So a first battle really did occur here. Yes, the monsters here and the monsters in the Ashvata dream, tree's dream. I've seen them in the memories too. The black dogs and huge metal beasts. Uh, where did these rift hounds come from? Let's look for a way to go further down. Okay. Uh, Aren't you going? Hot. That same rough and coarse. And the green grass won't grow from it. Uh, there's a very, very, very strange huge Valuka 
outside the forest. Uh, and there are Nara in it. Nara must be suffering. Do uh, we came from above? Fallen leaves, adorn my order, guide you. Fallen amber, help! I hear everything. I can't see. Wind strider. Clouds high. The birds, I'll approve you. Wind strider. Solidify. Oh. Oh, damn. Even okay. bedrock can be turned to. What's that? The things were disabled. I was going to just finish the fight and then recover. I was expecting to be unable to recover after. Uh, so what now? Stabilize. Ah, uh, this one is active. Maybe the others were already. Like, like that, and I just didn't pay attention. In shroud. Coming. Ah. Fresh memories. This might cause a bit of a shaking. Ah, you locked that. Time to go. Spy one, I'm glad you were right. Yeah, that was fine, but it is always oh, is it worth Are you right? A piece of cake. Come, didn't expect to see a space like this here. Come, didn't sense the within either. This should be the final seal. Thank you, Nara Ingles and Paimon, for coming here with me. Morana's after should be close by now. Once we defeat Morana's after, I'll plan a new Ashivati tree and. Then it will produce the beach for us. Then let's finish this. We'll help Rana and complete Arana's request. Yes. But I don't have enough memories. I don't know how to undo this seal. Don't worry, it's not a big place. Paimon's certain we'll find something if we look around. Arama, you rest and build up your strength. You'll need it if you plan to find Marana's after. All right, I rest here as well. I'm supposed to sit here. Uh, this looks like a very ordinary chair, but both its size and workmanship clearly indicate that it's made for humans and not for Aranara. Mm. 
zero. Uh, slightly through the mirror of Aranara with a golden nar, Aranara, a golden Aranara among them. They seem to be happily celebrating something. A mirror of of three Aranara and a golden Aranara. They seem to be entering a huge whirlpool. Uh, a mirror of many Aranara with their fronts or backs facing something strange. Uh, there's a golden Aranara with them. Mm, four Aranara, one golden Aranara, and a column. Or is that a tree trunk? It's hard to tell since the drawing is rather vague. The scene looks somewhat familiar. It does. Uh, that thing with water in the horse. The mural of some Anara farming a circle. This should be the home of some Aranara. It, look, it looks just like those houses in Vanarana, but its owner is nowhere to be found. If Aranara don't need to rest, why do they need houses? Oh, even if I didn't need to sleep, I still want my house. Uh, cool and clean water. It's impossible to tell where the water came from. Vanishing uh, books. It looks like something you see in an adventure's camp. But the books are full of crooked drawings, mostly of Aranara doing something. Speaking of which, why are adventurers so fond of bringing a stack of books with them? When, go, when they go camping. Never mind the fact that their tents are open in all directions and block neither wind nor rain. Why must they bring a stack of books? Now is the time for him to question those things. And if any needs, maybe we should discuss Arama. I follow the wind. There aren't many, any clues. I see, but this place is very calm, very good. Yeah, but it must be really difficult for you to keep the ring up and fend off the wittering, Arama. I'm fine, me with Nara in Zempaimo is a very happy thing, I won't forget. I recovered some of the strength while resting, so I remember now. This used to be Arama Hukunda's home. Uh, hello Arama, Nara in Zempaimo. Ah, is that him? Oh, where did you come from? You're Aramuhukunda. We met during Festival of Salva. You still remember? You gla that gladdens me. You made a garland from my flower and with the flower of many Aranara. To me, that's a great honor. Uh, Arama made a garland. Aramuhukunda. I've heard so many stories about you and I played with you in the memories of Arayama and the others. Uh, then you've inherited their memories, I see. As a past friend of theirs, this fills me with pride. Yes, but during the... Uh, during the battle here, many memories vanished, like fruits falling to the ground or clouds blown away by the wind. I see, they won't be sad about it, and you'll have no reason to either. There is no end to the precious memories you can create and the strength you can gain while you are with fr your friends. Yeah, I understand. Arama was really impressive when he took down that tumor of the withering with just one punch. He did the same to a ring greater too. He really helped a lot. Very good, Arama. It's just as I heard in Sarva. You are brave, Aranara. 
There are Inus, Paimon, if come. Intentional or not, it fills me with great pride. I've always wanted to hang out with our friends here. Do you know how to break the seal? So I will have other measure things you can hang out. Do you know how to break the seal? Or not, I know why we are here. The Ashwata tree told me many things before he used this what strength had left to give a rum and the fruit of ribs. Go through the cave and you arrive at the place where we defeated and sealed Marana hundreds of years ago. He hasn't fully recovered yet, but there's no time to lose. Yeah, we've got to break the last seal and defeat, the, defeat it as soon as possible. Only then can a new Ashwat tree grow and produce vision. And I am the final seal. I am the one keeping an eye on Marana's after. And yet, its strength still seeps through the sand like water, creeping through Sarva. I will undo this last seal and open the path for you. I'm certain that you can defeat it and put an end to this final enemy. Alright, Ignus, Arama, it's a serious gone. Thanks, Arama Honda. Do not worry, rather, it is I who should say thank you. Alright, Ignus, Paimon, I have a request, a question for you before you go. I've been busy preparing an environment comfortable for Nara just for your visit, but I've not traveled alongside Nara for far too long, so I do not trust my own judgment. Nara, Ignus, Paimon, do you like this place? Hmm, it's really nice and relaxing. There isn't anything to it, but Paimon thinks it's pretty nice. What do you think? I like it. Can't say I have any particular feelings on something I don't like. I like it. They're not very fond of talking. Quite unlike Nara Varuna, she kept talking about her brother. She was a terrible example for our Pakati and the others. Uh, if I have time, uh, and with her help, I can definitely do better. But based on the current circumstances, I'm afraid time is of the essence for you and our friend you want to help. My only regret is meeting you in an age like this one. Or should I say, having met in another age, I could have introduced Nara Varuna to you. How wonderful that might have been. But I wouldn't be able to meet Nara in Zepamo if they came from a different age. Uh, indeed, so this is fine. Uh, it was a little short, but I'm still very happy to have had a conversation with you. Thank you. Uh, Ignus Paimon, go ahead. I have something to give Parama. I understand. Ignus Paimon, please go ahead. I'll be right behind you. What are you going to give him? Alright, be quick. Or will defeat Marlon's avatar on her own? Let's open. Let's go. I'm gonna give him. I'm glad that you understand, Arama. Help your friends and let the new Ashwata tree become the anchor of Aranara's dream once more. I'll live up to your legacy. Arama Hukunda's name has filled us with courage since many, many months ago. And that will not change for many, many months to come. We will defeat Marana's avatar with your memories. I hear everyone call out to you. And it fills me with more than just courage, with pride as well. I'm leaving you. Like clouds know they have to release rain, the rain knows that it must fall to, onto the ground. Meeting all of you made me realize that the time has finally come. I'm very happy. Is he dying? Now I can finally return to Sarva and meet Narvaruna again. I think it's time. I follow the wind. Can I read that? Or is it the same thing? No, same thing. This late Time to go. Game.
Oh, activate it. What's this? This is where the last war ended. We they crushed uh, Moranas after and imprisoned it here with the four seals. Looks scary, so is Moranas after in there? Morana has corroded the Vazar tree that was meant to grow atop it and has gained possession of its bloodly form. If left unchecked, it will eventually eat away all the life of on this earth. Since it's not at its full strength yet, now should be the best time to destroy its after. With the village, we should be able to obtain the Bija. Come now, Ignus and Paimon, let's get going. You're speaking normally again, Paimon. Let's place a little place of Ignus, the withering. Careful. Visuals are just supposed to be inside. I will go turn it into the street. Surprise. Blah blah blah. This place reminds me of Dark Souls. That's the after for runner. Shift. Come on, oh. Just go attack that. I don't know how to fight. I don't think anymore. Wow, and my traveler really sucks at the moment. Oh, he's actually using that surge. Uh, I think this traveler is worse than. Worse than quick than I, I actually was.
No, at least I have a healer. this fight. If that thing was just like a hypostasis made up, who would be more interesting? Propagate! 
Now that we have destroyed Moran's after, peace should be restored in the forge. Uh, well, I said we, but it was mostly due to your efforts and courage. Thank you, Lord Inus. It was really thanks to the garland and your own support. They gave me the courage to keep going. They gave me the strength to stand up. Each flower is connected with the heart of the an Aranara. One could even say that a garland of these flowers Woven together can form the door to Mahavanaranapna, the Aranara universe. As long as it is connect, it is connects. No, it connects us. Uh, we can support you. Uh, when you are in need, lend you strength to conquer nightmares, help you through dark days, and fill the void in your heart. Uh, there are those who no longer dream and thus can no longer see us. Those who have accepted fate and stopped searching for the way forward, and those who wallow in fear and pain. Their hearts have hardened, unable to get help from these flowers. It's because Nara Ignis is kind and honest, and because Nara Ignis is Nara Ignis, that the garland could serve its purpose. Nara Ignis is our nurse friend. We won't have won't leave our friend alone to find Morana and eliminate all evil for a better Emperor world. Well, Ignis is my most best friend, so of course he's the best person ever. Anyway, Paimon guess this withering business has been settled once and for all then, right? Morana should fall into slumber now that its scepter has been destroyed. But in a matter of decades, perhaps centuries, it will wake up again. It's because Morana's memory has been left in Sarva. Unless that can be completely removed, the memory of death that dwells in all things will eventually bring it back again. Uh, but this will take a long time. I believe that by then there will once again come someone as golden as the sun. Just like Nara Inus and Nara Varuna, so I wouldn't worry about it. Today's forest has a bright future ahead. As long as what remains of Marana is cleared, the children of the forest will be able to enjoy abundant sunshine in rain. Well, Anyway, now that Morana's after is destroyed, the next step is to plant a new Ashvata tree for the Bija, right? Yes, please wait here for a moment while I fetch Arana. Arana, right, we've got to use Arana's memory to produce the Bija. Well, isn't Arana around Vimara village? How are we gonna... And there goes Arana. Whoa. Nara Ignus and Paimon, Arana sends your battle against Morana's avatar. You and Rama are very brave. How did you come all the way here in just a second? I received Arama Hukunda's memories. Uh, through them, I learned how to use Sarva to travel through the forest in a flash. This particular Arakalari is called teleportation. Arama is amazing. Arama Hukunda must be so glad that you were the one receiving his memory. Arana hasn't teleported in a long, long time either. Next, we need to plant a new Ashvata tree, right? Pama remembers that Arama talked about some seed thingy. Seeds know that they have to grow into big trees and bear lots of big fruits. Thank you, Arama. No problem, I will grow into a new Ashvata tree. Bear the Bija using your memories and dreams, 
and use my roots to reconnect the corroded bridges between dreams. So he become. Oh wait, what are you guys talking about? Aroma is the seed. Having absorbed the memories and energies of Aroma Hukonda, the Ashivata tree, and the Vasoma fruits, I have now become the strongest seed in the forest. Paimon doesn't understand. I was planning to build up my memories with my own eyes and body for several decades or centuries, and then embrace the land again and grow into a beautiful Vasar tree. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have the honor to heal the forest by destroying Moranda's avatar, or become the king of the Vazar trees by collecting all these precious memories. Ah, so the Vazar trees in Ashivata's concourse were all once Aranara? Yes, they were once Araji, Arayama, and Aramaha. The Vazama fruits are their memories. But if you turn into a tree, Arama, would you lose the ability to run, talk, and sing? Though I did not spend many days as a seed, the days I spend with you are ten times, no, hundreds time, of times more precious than the days I spent before. Mm, that's not fair, Paimon still has plans to hang out with you. Mm, bullshit. We never hang out with anybody after the quests are done. I see, I understand, Paimon. Uh, Nara Ignus and you are my friends. This will never change. Uh, with all these memories and energies I've received, I'm now able to see many scenes and stories in Sarva. Let me tell you one. Okay. Hidden in the Golden Sandstorm, the eternal oasis was the void of life. The oldest ruler of all plants, whom no Aranara had had pleasure of meeting, lay dormant in the sand. Is the well, the this oh, I thought he was called the Scarlet King. He wasn't necess he wasn't necessarily a desert uh, before. The city was turned into a desert because of the knowledge they had or something. Hmm. The vegetation was once covered. The once covered, it had all died and been reduced to grains of sand. Just as Marana whispered, all good things must vanish. But you should know that as dark as night is, the stars still shine and the sun will still rise. Death longs to dominate all, but life will not fade. Just like the yellow leaves that fall down shall nourish Kuihua trees, uh, their fruits shall sustain sumter beasts, foxes, and forest boars while they shall feed rich ball and tigers in turn. And so the force always teems with life. Once the land was polluted with toxic blood. Uh, like Nara, Aranara too thought that that was the end of the world. But now even the memory of it is gone. The force is even more luxuriant than, than it was in the time of greater lord Ruka Devata. In the end, the memory, all that remains, is beautiful. Uh, those who part will come to meet again in Sarpa. One day, our dreams and memories will intertwine and blossom in the numberless branches in Sarpa. Wouldn't that be great? Pamon understands, but Pamon. Okay, all right. Pamon understands. You are the best, Sidarama. And you will definitely grow into a great and beautiful tree. And and even when you turn into a tree, please don't forget Paimon and Eagles and the adventures we had together. Uh, thank you, Rama. Thank you, Darius and Paimon. It's been a great pleasure to meet you. Arana, I promise I will turn your memories into the most beautiful and robust vision. I believe you, Arama. Uh, 
Aroma. Aroma has grown into a new Ashvata tree. It's small now, but the roots are deep and strong. After many, many moons, it will surely grow to be big and beautiful. Arana, you once said that memories and dreams are Arana's source of strength. If you give those memories up, we'll, you'll forget Rana, won't you? And the children of Yamara village too? Yes, but friends are more precious than memories. You can always make up for lost memories, but not a lost friend. How much help it, Narana? Uh, she has the same name as Arana. She is Arana's friend. And even if Arana doesn't remember, you will. As long as you remember, your memory will one day grow into a ripe and robust fruit. I understand. What should we do? Arana has taught you the rhythm of the great dream. Do you still remember? Narayimus, just play the song to Arana and Arama. Narayimus, please make it quick. The Ara Kalari that Arana left with Narana won't last long. Are you ready? Yes, I'll be fine. We finally got it, the precious vision. We certainly came. Come a long way. Yeah, now all we need to do is give it to Rana, right? Who are you? Yeah, the force will remember. An Ashvata tree, strange. The Ashvata tree shouldn't be here. But an arrow, while floaty, Arana doesn't recognize you. But you look familiar. Who are you? So Arana really did forget everything. Pamo's name is Pamo and he's Ignus. Where are your friends, Arana? Uh, Arana believes you. You smell kind. Arana understands now. There seemed to be a hole in my heart through which important memories slip away. But seeing you in the Ashvata tree, Arana understands much more now. Arana saw that it took the Bija, yes? Arana gave many memories to the Ashvata tree to grow the fruit, to help a friend. Clever Arana. So, do you remember that friend? No, but it's okay. If you have the Bija, you have the Bija, so you must be friends that Arana trusts and Nara that the Ashvata tree recognizes. Please take the Bija to Arana's friend in need. Let's head off together. Arana doesn't want to go. Arana has forgotten. If my friend sees that they've been forgotten, they will be sad and think that Arana doesn't cherish them. The friend you wanted to help is a great person, a great Nara. And even if you forget her, Arana, she will still want to be your friend. So let's go together, alright? Okay. You are Arana's friends, so Arana believes you. Okay, it seemed like I had the option to go alone. Oh, I didn't spend that. I still... Oh yeah, I got to take those two. The nurse room. Sensation of what most precious are now. It's not only fruit, but also seed of hope. Definitely didn't get that. Uh, and I can't really know the depth of those. I think this is the only one above ground. Let's just rush there to open the map. Time to go. 
Time to go. Wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. Stabilize. In shroud. I'll uproot you. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Time to go. I follow the wind. Now let's go back. Why is it disabled? Is she a brother's our friend? Yes, now Ignus is the bishop. Hmm. Will she be able to see the radar? Are you awake? Can you hear me? Oh, did I fall asleep again? Where am I? Hey, Spamo, I'm so glad you're alright. I was worried you'd be affected by the wintering and... Arana? Is that you, Arana? Oh, she recognizes. Hello, Narfrain. I've always been waiting for you, you know? I had this long, long dream where I met you for the first time. In the dream, I got lost in the forest. I couldn't find my parents on my way home. I was crying. You heard it, and you found me and sang to me. Then we became best friends. I often came to hang out with you in the forest. You gave me a flower as a gift, and you taught me so many things, so many secrets of the forest. Like how star shrooms are the reflection of stars in the sky, or like how seeing Nil Nilotipala lotus bloom. Seeing Nilotipala lotus bloom will grant you luck next time you, the moon rises. Yes, that's it. And then I dreamed that, dreamed that I grew up quickly into a reliable forest ranger who could protect everyone in Vimara village. Reliable grown-ups don't believe in forest fairy tales. I dreamed that I had forgotten all about you. I came to think that the stories about Aranara were just fairy tales for children. That the forest was just lined with many trees and that there was no such thing as magic. I was so scared when I woke up, scared that I had forgotten all about you. I wouldn't know what to do if that happened, but thankfully, it was just a dream. I'm just so relieved to see you again. Rana, where have you been? I've been waiting for you. For you to take me to the forest, the magical forest full of mysteries that only appears when I'm with you. Sorry, Rana no longer remembers. Huh? 
Yeah, Rana, it's not Rana's fault. Here's what happens. We met Rana, I look for you. Rana said the fungi, the fungi in Maltiama Forest, the fight at the rain's end, the inside of the golden of the ring Garland, the song of Mr. Roses, Rana acting as brothers and sisters, the dreadful scenes of Festival of Tsaho. Gently, you tell Rana and Rana. Rana and Rana all about about all that you encounter together with the Aranara. So it was I who forgot everything. Vigil grows from memories. Paimon thinks that Arana must have treasured those memories of you greatly, which is how the fruit could help you help bring back some memories while it was healing you. Uh, thank you, Ignus. Paimon, you went through so much trouble to help me. Don't mention it. This was the most rewarding adventure adventures for us. Sure. You should thank Arana and Arama instead. Thank you. I'm sorry, Arana. How could I forget about you? You must hate me, don't you? Arana doesn't know. Arana has forgotten. <laughs> Uh, but it's okay, since Pastor Rana was willing to let memories go for Rana's sake, Karencha Rana knows that you are the most important Nara, uh, even more precious than memories. Mm, I'm not sure if it's fair to Rana to say this, but Araja and Aranara said Aranara have long lives. Pamon thinks that you two can still create many precious memories together, just like Pamon and Ignus do. You're right, we still have a lot, a lot of time with each other. We can explore the vastness of the forest, the world and the future together. Yes. Marana, so the withering problem was pretty much settled when I was asleep. I don't know how to thank you, Ignus, Paimon and all the r and &R. I know it seems impulsive, but I would like to go on a journey with Arana. I'm just worried that the children of Infimara village might be put at risk again. Uh, Paimon almost forgot that she haven't solved our bad guy problem. I already have some clues about who we're up against. What? Who? Why didn't Paimon know about anything about that? Really? Who? Come. Uh, I must give them a few hard knocks to go. There's no hard evidence yet. Leave this to me. Right. I believe you, Amos. This might come out strange, but I do think that this bad guy did bring something other than trouble. I mean, if the children hadn't gone lost, I wouldn't have increased my patrol frequency. And if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have run into those fungi and met two kind and honest souls who would never leave someone in need behind. It all happened so that I got to know you, Ignus, Paimon, you're both such a great help. You saved me and helped, me, helped reunite me with my best friend. I can't thank you enough, Ignus and Paimon. It's okay, Rana. That said, Yotan, Kavs, and Sudabe are going to miss you if you leave. They are stronger than you think, and they know Ignus too. Besides, it's not like I'm never coming back. I will return one day and tell them tons of great stories, and I will introduce Arana to them, just like, just like how I introduced Ignis. That's good, that's good. Paimo was getting worried that you wouldn't come back. So Arana, will you go travel with me? Of course. You've lost so many memories because of me, but just as Paimo said, we can create our our members together to fill the void in your heart. My name is Rana, would you like to be my friend? Yes, now Rana, we used to be best friends, and we will be best friends again. Hey, look, that from Rana's chest glows a light with the warmth of a heartbeat, faint yet bright. She tries to cover and touch the light with her hands, but the light starts burrows into her hands as if Consciously, when the light fades out, a delicate ornament appears in her hand. Hey, look, that's a vision. Oh, 
this is the first time Paimo has seen something like this happens with her own eyes. So my wish was recognized by the gods. Uh, Rage, now that I have this, I can embark on this journey with no more worries. I, sh I should even be able to handle the remnants of the withering just fine. If only I could look as good as in a fight as you. Yeah, she could not look as a generic NPC. Uh, I got so many things to do. First, I'll let everyone know I'm awake. Oh, and I need to tell Tainari about my plans to travel. Thank you again, Paimon, Arana, and thank you, Inus. Uh, thank you, Godinara, Inus, and Paimon. Arana has lost those memories, but Arana knows that you are a good Nara. You helped Arana meet Na Narana. Arana is also happy. Uh, it's been a pleasure to know you all. I wish you both a most rewarding journey. Rana, Arana, Paimon hopes you enjoy your journey and that you won't forget about us. Do not yield to the wind or the rain. Do not yield to the winter snow or the summer heat. I heard this poem once, Inus Paimon. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. And you see a stronger me then, for sure. Yeah, we'll probably meet her a few times. Uh, we'll see each other again, for sure. So that's how people get. Uh, I don't know, being handed by the gods, I always imagine that it just came floating from the sky. Like the Spirit of Stones in Ocarina of Time. Uh, but what about the kids? What's the same? And to, uh... Where did that happen? Just let me check where, where is that. Let's, let's see this one. Oh, hang on, let's see. Let's check here first. Because we should have a crush here. About the guy that was responsible for kidnapping the kids. Uh, I don't remember where this guy is from, but he was the one that was using for Somero. Let's uncover the bad guy in Vimar village. Let's leave quietly. Hello, Alfonso. It's you guys. It's what can I do for you? We're looking for a runner. She's gone already. I want to talk to you about something. Could have done that before talking to Rana and then tell her that we've solved the mystery already. The bad guy hiding in Jimara village. After all, Rana only left relaxed enough to go on a journey after Inus promised her to deal with the bad guy. I see, I understand now. Even though I don't have a clue, feel free to ask. First, let's recap what happened. So, who was the first missing child in Vimar village? I'm supposed to know. Uh, come on, I, I don't remember. Chimmy. Chimmy, <laughs> no, instead of the Chimmy, it's in his small set. Who's Chimmy? So the bed should be the first one that went missing, right? Okay, so you know. Come on, it's now. It's so the bed. She heard that there were herbs that could improve Amadaya's sight and then sneaked out into the woods. That's right. 
We were worried when it happened and organized a search party. I remember now. Ryan did say that you organized the search party and brought Curry along too. Who told Sudabe about the herbs? I did. Sudabe is a good kid who cares a lot about Daya. I recall mentioning it to her one day. But I also said, yeah, Paimon knows. She said it told her not to wander the forest alone. But she really cares about Amadaya. Any other questions? So, who was the second that went missing? Chen Chen. I don't know, so I'm gonna go with the wrong answer. Chen Chen is Li Wei. I don't remember who's Chen Chen. It's the girl that doesn't like the medicine. Now, uh, what this got to do with Chen Chen? Okay, uh, Paimon remembers the second kill was to the best big brother named Cavus, right? Cavus, he said he was going to see a friend in the forest for his missing sister. Yeah, he did mention that. Do you know who Cavus' friend was? Is Afonso. How would I know? I didn't find Cavus or his friend in the woods. As you know, he came back suddenly not remembering anything, just like Sudabeth. Any other qu questions? No more children went missing after that. You got this, Paimon? Uh, okay. Well, Yuta was supposed to go missing next. But we did. But we and Rana ran into him and brought him back. How did it happen exactly? According to him, he heard Alfonso say there were huge mushrooms in a cave, so he wanted to get some for Rana. Then the Fatui followed him. He got scared, ran, and ended up trapped in a withering zone. What? He went into a withering zone? How come he never told me that? That's unacceptable. Wait, if he was in the withering zone, how did he make it back? I understand that you can master the elements without vision, but still... Uh, sure tell Alfonso about runner. He ought to know. That should be, f that should be fine. You'll probably find it this hard to believe, Alfonso. But there are fairies called Aran and Aran in the forest. Yotan and the other and the gang are friends with them. So the Aranara helped him. Aranara? But going after the kids, the Fatui are so despicable. Hmm. We still don't know who the bad guy hiding in the Mara village is. I think someone's watching us over there, Paimon. Okay, this is someone. Can we see someone watching us around? Where? Don't talk about him. It's the bad guy we're looking for. Go check it out. Just come along. Well, if we're in trouble, I'll be right there. Uh, you're a small and can fly. Perfect for scouting. Fine. Can't have Enzo everything anyway. I'm almost got this. Paimon leaves excitedly. Why bother? She'll be happy if she doesn't know. Uh, let's talk elsewhere. Come on. Uh, when did you start suspecting me? Is it because Suda Ben Yotan both mentioned me? You know my name. Rana never told you my name. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to remember that specific? No, he's the only guy here that isn't from Sumeru. So he was the most likely to have connections with the Fatui. Uh, or maybe I have great hearing and overheard your name when Rana introduced you to Amadaya. She never told Amadaya that either. How careless of me. But besides the Fatui, the Adventurer's Guild also has an extensive network. So why don't you think I'm an adventurer? You seem to know me very well. Seems to know about a lot of the, about the Fatui. Uh, I actually don't remember my talks with him. It's whatever. You know I could control the elements of Auto Vision. I don't know, I was now I was just assuming uh, Rana said something about that because I don't remember the beginning of this enormous quest. You're quite fa famous for your exploits, 
I don't have to be a fatus to know that. The bottom line is, you don't have anything concrete to prove that I'm with them. True, but that's not important. You're right, only the card remains proof, whereas a king hound needs merely a saint tra to track the prey. Of course, a clever hound would avoid the saint it shouldn't sniff, as should not run into a dragon at the trail's end. But from your track record, you're not one to quit. You warned Rana not to patrol the forest. Because you didn't want her to interfere with the Fatui. There's truth to that, but more importantly, I didn't want her to get hurt. The other Fatui aren't like me. They felt nothing towards, towards her or the Mara village. Who are you really, Alfonso? The name given to me at birth is buried in freezing snow. The name granted me by the house of the hearth is Trofin Snehevich. Trofin Snehevich of the house of the hearth. Your reaction tells me you probably encountered my brothers and sisters before. Don't tell me who you run into or their status. They should have revealed their identity. Should they have revealed their identity to you? Assuming they are still alive, then they would have betray betrayed her match already. If they are dead, I'd rather not know about it. House of the Hearth is a shelter founded by the Knave. Children raised in the house aren't related to but our bones are tighter than blood. After coming of age, those with potential, potential undergo training to become agents. Then you could trade different locations to await orders. Unfortunately, I was deemed as having potential. What is your order? Capture Aranara. Uh, it's an art. Yeah, I don't think you should have told him the Arnar are a fact. Uh, it's an order from the doctor, so that he can study the connections between Arnar, dreams, and the withering. Weaponizing dreams and the withering seems to be one of his projects. Of course, I and every Fatus would you defeated are his source study. We can't see Aranara, but Kavu, Sudabe, and Yotan have what it takes to befriend them. So you let the Fatui abduct them to lure the Aranara out? Correct. And the Aranara did show up, but their power truly was amazing, able to free those kids right under the nose of heavy security. The doctor has eyes on something truly incredible this time. I've got a question for you too, Ignis. Why would the Arnara erase the abduction and rescue the from and rescue from Cavs and the best memory to avoid being exposed? Arnara doesn't want the children to remember anything like that at all. Arnara doesn't want them to be violent when they grow up. I see. So that Arnara named Arana. That sounds a lot like Rana, a very pretty name. Please thank her on my behalf when you get the chance. Why would you thank her? The Mar village feels like a real home to me. Rana and Yotan feel like blood relatives I shouldn't have. Uh, Cavs and Sudabe are my precious siblings. I hope they will grow up happily, happy, healthy, righteous and kind. So even though Arana has made my job that much more difficult. I appreciate what she did very much. Oh, I finally get it. Just like you distract Paimon, the children are not to know the dirty secrets, the dirty deeds. Uh, youngster, you should enjoy childhood. Do what you like, see what you want to see, but also remember the dark days. That's the house teachings. Because facing the darker side of life is inevitable for grow-ups. You need to be prepared as a child so you can protect yourself and those you love. Maybe what you're doing also makes sense 
If I hadn't grown up in the house of the hearth uh, and became a spy in Vimar village, if only I were born in Vimar village, all the stock's meaningless. I know, I just feel sorry. I wish I'd always been Alfonso, not Trophin Shnezvich, Shneznaya. So, Shneznevich. Yeah. I wish I really was Yota's big brother. I want to be a good person, but I belong to the to an organization. I want to be family to Rana and the kids, but I've already got a family I can't turn my back on. Many of my fellows have powers rivaling, rivaling the Lord Harbingers and are not subject to any city or state. That's something even a free honorary knight like you probably couldn't comprehend. I do comprehend. But what you did is inexcusable. Well, that's all I got to say. So what are you going to do with me now? Uh, don't come near Vimar village or let me see you again. Our battle, Aranda and I both agreed. Uh, I don't remember what Arana and I both agreed. Uh, okay, he's so an NPC that will probably vanish. But I have the op option to actually kill him or just tell him to go away. No, I don't think this one actually deserves to die. I see. Got it. You won't see me again. I'm not returning to the Fatui either since I blew my mission and brought shame to my siblings. Yota will probably be waiting for Alfonso to come back forever. Uh, I can't see about him. Go now, Paimon should be here any minute. Goodbye. No, farewell. Uh, not catch the forest. Did we come a bit far? Was I going to throw him from there? During the fight? Does the dimension? Well, wow, you are here to me today. About Rana. And say she was leaving for a trip. It looked like she would be away for a long time. Uh, it does make me a little sad, but this is an opportunity for me to grow up like while Rana is away. Once I grow up, I'll show up in front of Rana and surprise her. I'm sure Sada will grow up to be a great distinguished lady. Thanks. I'm learning really hard to become a distinguished lady sooner. I'm learning how to cook. And have a taste of the curry I made. My father and brother all thought it was good after they tried it. They told me not to cook this too often because it's worth being cherished since it's so delicious. But I will surely keep cooking it. A bar No, I can't tell you. But I haven't seen them in a long time either. Uh, we're gonna come back this time. Arana. Arana says she was leaving for a trip and would be away for a very long time. Much longer than before. But since I'm older than Soda Bay and Yotan, I'll take care of them for her. Let's play with Rana once she gets back. Take care of Soda Bay Yotan. I will. I'm gonna be a good big brother, and I'll, even, I'll never leave them behind, otherwise Rana will criticize me. There will come a day when I become Captain Carvus, free as a seagull. And to make it come true, I've been fishing with that. These are the fish I caught, I want to give them to you. And by the way, Soda best recently she's been learning to cook her own on her own so that she can be a big girl soon. So if you happen to eat something suspicious she made, well, please don't be hard on her. I didn't pay attention. Did she gave me a suspicious curry? Uh, let me just check here. 
quickly. Uh, I'm not even sure where the curve would be. But I don't usually make suspicious food. Curry, curry, something that looks like curry. That's not curry. That's not curry. No, that was foolish, not curry. I don't know what the curry looks like here. No, I have no idea. Yeah, maybe I got a suspicious curve, but I don't know. Like she's never... I gotta grow up quickly so I can go find Rana. Oh, I didn't talk to him about Rana. Thank goodness Rana's alright. But why did she suddenly go traveling? I want you to go traveling too. About Rana? Uh, thank you, Ignus. Uh, it's all thanks to you the run wakes again. So they knew she was in coma. Uh, I'll be a good boy for Grandma, the village chief, and Rana from now on. I will try to explore the dangerous place in the forest. I grew up to be a great man and go look for Rana and Arana. So no, about Rana. Keep it up, Yota. Thank you, Ignus. I want to be a great person just like you and help those in need just as Rana and you did for me. Uh, right, take the star shrooms, Ignus. Rana says eating the star shrooms I picked always lifts her up. I hope they can lift your spirits too. Bon Alfonso. It's been quite a while since I've seen Alfonso. Rana and Alfonso must have left you because they have something very important to do. I'll eat well and sleep well. When I grow up, I'll, it'll be my turn to invite them to play. Okay, let's, let's talk to this boy again because they're asking him about the Aron. Aron has gone traveling and I hadn't seen my friends in the forest for a long time. I don't. I think this quest should take a little while, but not that long. So maybe I'll be able to complete this one today as well. to see you. I think it's in five months. Judging from Arika's look, something's wrong. Don't have Paimon the for sick again. Paimon guessed it. The bad guys that, that wish to make Vanna sick came back. Arika couldn't fight them off alone. The bad guys keep coming around and we can't always stay in the woods like Aranara. If only there's a surefire solution. Surefire? 
Is that a name of a mushroom Arikan doesn't know about? If there was a mushroom you could devour to solve all problems, I'd be the first to chop it up. Uh, if you get the academy to help. Even then, they can make something that powerful, otherwise, there wouldn't be any scholars tearing their hair out trying to write their thesis. Anyway, sure fire means. You do something once to solve a problem permanently. No mushroom is that powerful. Even Greater Lord Kadevata or Muhukunda can do that. Neither can Varuna Contraption, who got sick twice from the bad stuff. And his way out like that is a pipe dream. True, but how are we going to solve this problem? If the bad guys keep coming back, no way we can show up every time Arika needs our help. Maybe Nara has an idea. Which Nara? Alright, Jazari mentioned he's researching the Ring Golem. But he wasn't making headway until we finally got into the Ring Golem with him last time. No, not that Nara. Arika rejected that so decisively. Uh, but other than Jazari, we don't know anyone else who's studying the Ring Golem. Arika knows another Nara, Nara Pir Uh He might know something. Nara Pir Kavkavos, where has Paimon heard the name before? That's right, Jazari said Pir Kavkavos is a genius of Kshariwar and delved in the Ring Golem. But he also said that Pirkev Kavos got into an accident on an expedition and all his key findings were lost. So, was Arikan. Arikan doesn't understand what Pirkev Kavos said, Arikan just know how Aura Lohita and the Arnara accompanied that. Just know Aura Lohita and the Arnara accompanied Nara Pirkev Kavos in the past. Because cows could see our Nara and they travel together. Not to mention that he was an academic genius. Well, that practically makes him the main character in the story. If not only for the accident, I guess that's why the good are young. In contrast, Jazari couldn't even see our Rikan and looked at Paimon with pity. Paimon was obviously talking to Aranara, but he thought Paimon was rambling to herself. Aralo Hita likes riddles and traps, but he can't be found now. Though, so, where he stayed before probably has the solution for that Ignis mansion. Arika knows the place, but it's got new Marana, very dangerous. By Marana, you mean the Wittering? Don't worry, you let Nara Ignis handle that. Since we don't have any other leads, we'll have to check it out. Our recon will take, will take you there, but be careful. Bad guys that wish to make Vana sick are probably not too far away. Solidify. Can't see. Wind Strider. Stabilize. Time to go. In shroud. Gather. 
fallen leaves. Adorn my- I will have order. Everything should be fine now. Let's go. No, I didn't really need to build that. Let's nip that in the butt. Can't see. Stabilize. One with the farce. Wind Strider. Uh, do they still have their eyes on the ring garden? Just on knowing to pitch. Uh, I know, right? Uh, also, how did they find out about this place? Uh, if they beat us to the clues. That is our, our nervous friends, so they won't find the solution. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, our Lohita likes riddles and traps and hid the solution. Bad guys aren't with our nerves, so they won't get the answer. Even so, Paimon's a bit worried. Let's hurry up and uh, to find the clues. Looks like Arana was here for a while. Arana was here for a while. On the wall, is there a message from our Aralo Hita? Aralo Hita left a hidden riddle. Uh, it must be really hard. Can we solve it by force? I'm gonna solve riddles. Solving a riddle like this, nothing to use. Speaking of which, what's exact? What exactly is the riddle? Uh, is the answer the solution we're looking for? No, the riddle is simple. That's why our Lohita hid the solution in the labyrinth. The passage to the labyrinth is the answer. So we just have to solve the riddle and figure out the passage to the labyrinth first, right? Almost right. The riddle is a short one. Ran across it the day before yesterday. Yesterday and today. Right across it the day before yesterday, yesterday and today. Uh, how are we supposed to guess that? What are the day before yesterday, yesterday and today? Our uh, well, to learned them from Nara. They are not our uh, Nara words. Oh, that's right. Uh, Nara doesn't really understand our concept of time. How can we explain to our Rika? Well, today runs from the most recent daybreak to dark. Yesterday is the same cycle before that. The day before yesterday is the one before that. Probably not the best day way to describe it, but... Do you get it, Arika? Yes, today Arika meant our ignorance in Paimo. That's correct, but probably not the answer to the riddle. Arahita wrote the answer in three different places. Let's look around. Perhaps we should go straight to the end. True, if if there are only three spaces to fill, maybe we can get them all right on our first try. A recommendation of uh, Lohita likes mechanisms, but there shouldn't be any that would blow up 
when receiving wrong answers, right? Do you know what our Lohita mechanisms are like, Arika? Arika has no idea. No, then we should be cautious. We don't want to lose important clues because of our screw ups. The answer are in the tr in three different places and it shouldn't be far. Let's search those places. Says Shun Four. <laughs> it says Respawn Tiger. Now I find all trains, but how can you clear the la labyrinth? It's a time of truth, but I'm also afraid we'll watch this. Let's reveal the riddle again. Ran across it the day before yesterday, yesterday, and today. So the answer is the other of the answers is still unclear. Bungus, Sumter Beast, and Golden Wolf Lord. No, Pamela doesn't think that's the correct in any conceivable way. We only know the answer includes the the birds from War and Wishbone Tiger, but we don't know in what order they should be placed. How are we going to know what our Alohita ran across on which and on which day? Paimon thought you said it was an easy one, Arika. Paimon. The riddle is not a question. It's not about our Alohita. What is it if it's not a question? And who else can it be about if not about our Lohita? Mm, Pamela's not getting this at all. We should probably think beyond the text. Um, but normally, our Nara only understands literal meanings. Now, there's a, a Nara who can speak in riddles. Pamela can't keep up. The order, not how our Lohita met them. But how Nar Ignus met them. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm gonna guess from the when I entered Sumeru, the first thing I I saw of those was a Shumbor inside. Oh no, that's its numbers. Was a sh but I saw Shumbor inside the the cave of the chasm. Then I saw the Spurge, and only when I left <gasps> that I saw a Shumbor Tiger. Keep up. No, no, the it's the markings, huh. the numbered markings. Uh, huh. Two. Three. Yeah, so did, did that work? Mm. Now we can Why take a chest way out of fabric. What? The riddle wasn't hard at all, but. That doesn't seem to be any so distraught. So called silence, proceed with caution, blah blah blah. Time to go. Oh, this wasn't here. Vamada's Labyrinth. It's a little labyrinth. Uh, no, 
no, how did I open that? Oh, hang on, did I have to play a song here? Yeah. yeah. Come on, couldn't those things be all activated once I played it the first time? I got to the end. Found it, finally. Is that a clue from our Lohita? Uh, it looks like some sort of transcript. Oh, it must be the result of Greek of Calvus research. Enos, let's read it now. Uh, let me see. Theory and practice. Enhancing the safety of the chaos core in unstable conditions using the Caria Ringolan of the Devantata Mountain as an example. Uh, what does that mean? Paimon knows these words but doesn't get it when they are put together like this. Is this an academic study? This may be a long shot, but do you understand this, I reckon? Look like lots of crawling bugs, yuck. So none of us understand it. Looks like we'll have to ask Chansari. I reckon may not approve, but Pirikaf Kavos has been gone for a long time. Our Lohita too. Jazari's our only hopes at this point. I don't think he'll have a good reason to refuse. He'll probably be over the moon about it. Now Jazari is on the moon, so very far cannot come here to help. No, it's just a figure of speech. It means he'll be very, very happy. Mr. Jazari is probably still in Devantaka modeling research. Since we have a lead now, let's go look for him. No, now let me finish the maze. Let's see if there isn't anything else. Time to go. Okay, so it's not really a labyrinth, it's just five blocks.
Let me see if I can live to the other side. No. Okay, so it is useless now. There's nothing else. Uh, he's probably inside the golem. Uh, for the hand, right? Uh, um, okay, go from here. Yeah. There you are, Mr. Jazari. It was not easy to find you. It was. Oh, it's Ignis and Paimon, right? Yes, but why are you looking at Paimon like that? Uh, uh, I'm worried about you. I don't know how you've been doing since the last time I saw you. This is a doctor. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Your friend's situation may seem fine now, but you better keep an eye on her. <laughs> Uh, hey, just because you're whispering to me doesn't mean Paimon won't hear everything. Uh, there's no secret between us. Okay, uh, only the person wearing the shoes will know if they fit. Since you insist they are fine, then there's nothing more I can say. Why does that sound so harsh? Harsh, some people are warm and sincere. As one of them, I don't mean anything other than what I said. Anyway, what brings you to here? Did you suddenly develop a passion for scholarship and finally decide to dedicate yourself to the pursuit of truth? Uh, well, it does have to do with scholarship. Take a look at this. You give Jazari a look at the data you found. Mr. Jazari, hello. What's up with him? Is it even too hard for him to understand? Is not Jazari's small arm just broken? Ah, uh, why did you shout out of nowhere like that? My Pirk of Cavos, no, this is a paper by none other than Pirk of Cavos himself. And it's his theory in practice of... Uh, okay, the, the title. My stars, with such an exclusive pioneering research in my hand, even if I just wrote a review, I could still apply for funding from the academia. Tell me, where did you find this? Uh, well, we can't exactly tell him we found it in the RNR labyrinth. Just make up some random answer. We found it in a mushroom cave deep in the forest. I woke up and discovered it in my bag. I think this raised more questions. What? Pre-Cliff Campus was conducting research in a place like that? Uh, looks like I better examine my own research attitude. We tried reading it, but we couldn't make heads or tails of it. These are the results of some very important research, right? What's written in it? Could you give us the simple version, Mr. Jazari? What do you want to know about it? Didn't Mr. Jazari say before that the gates to scholarship will open to whomever has a seeking heart? Paimon also really wants to know what a genius like Peter Kavos wrote about. I did say that, but but I've been following this project for a very long time. If you must know, the amount of prior research I've done over the years is even more than the stories you've heard. Oh. Uh, this is a great discovery indeed, and you were the ones to find this important data. Regardless, now that you've embarked in the path on the path of scholarship, you are the vice that will require my, my expertise to guide you through an accurate reading of this text. So, you you won't try to publish your results before me, will you? Uh, why are you worried about that? Shouldn't have to be enrolled in the academia to be able to publish anything. Well, such a publication would undoubtedly bring both fame and fortune. We have both. As they say, your fate isn't determined by your ability, but your luck. Mm. With your remarkably good luck, I don't think I would stand a chance. Then you're worrying yourself over nothing, and the Pai will not have a permit from the academia. We will never conduct research with malicious intent. 
Is that so? Why don't you say so? But worry not, if you ever want to seek an academic career, I'll write you a letter of recommendation. And by then, uh, my letters of recommendation will be worth a fortune. For now, though, uh, there's no time to lose. Let's go to the core of the Ringolin to test Pirkevka's theory. Great, this is just, this is just my solve our problem, Arika. It may not be a problem here, but at least that takes care of the current crisis. Yes, nerds are not, not no good. It's good. Ah, you see, I'll soon become a wealthy researcher. To repay you, why don't I recommend a few good physicians to you for your self-talk? Pamela's already said it's fine. Uh, but Pamela would gladly become welcome being treated to some more summer delicacies. Uh, the elevator, right? said the car oh the car is in here the car is the other uh how did i get there it's it's in a cave but could i just go through here uh, uh, uh. okay i guess i can go through here Maybe Time faster from the teleport, but I won't know where the entrance to the cave is. And no, this won't really. Ah, here, yeah. This probably. that no isn't that the car uh, maybe I am supposed to meet him outside the cave so I could have teleported Follow the wind. We're back. If we can completely seal the core, even the Abyss Order will have a hard time wrecking it again. I think we could tell him about that. My little friend, even if you don't have faith in me, you should have faith in Pierre Kafka. Uh, I read through his masterpiece several times on the way here. I completely understand it now. That's Pierre Kafka, alright. A paragon of genius. It's unfortunate that such genius no longer walks among us. However, he left behind a clear path. All we need to do is follow it to, to reach the correct destination. Sounds like there won't be much we can do to help. So I just have to count on you, Mr. Jazari. 
Not necessarily, as they say, sword is the final solution. Still, I hope you can draw your weapon out. Uh, why? Roses have thorns, treasure troves have snakes. Who can say what perils await us? Besides, this great endeavor mustn't be stopped halfway. If we are interrupted, not even Prickhaf Cubs himself could predict the consequences. Uh, is it really gonna be that dangerous? It's possible that nothing will happen at all, and it's also possible that we will end up buried here together. Uh, in any case, it's better to be safe than sorry. I have much faith in your abilities. When I seal the car, I trust you to cover my rear. Narjazar wants to push his lower back. Uh, Arika wants to help, but Narjazar too tall. Arika can reach. I can lift you up. Uh, thank you. Great. Thank you, Nara Eagles. It's not time to mess with Arika. Mr. Jazar just wants us to guard his this path so that he can focus on his task. Uh, now, all you need to do is stay put with us, Arika. Jazar is attacked by Abs Mages, blah blah blah. This is order. Solidified. Can't see. They have names. They have names. As one with wind and cloud. Good thing we have water here to to deal with that fire shield. That was easy. Heavy <laughs> wind. There was three waves of three mages in less than a minute. Uh, just what I would expect from myself. Did it work? Do I even need to say? I am a researcher who aspires to receive the Pirkat Kavos prize, and I have guidance from Pirkat Kavos himself. If I couldn't succeed even with all that, it'd be hard to imagine anyone else from the academia completing this task. That's impressive, Mr. Jazari. The original data from the previous study was already enough for a conventional publication, but now... Um, my apologies. I lost my comp composure there for a moment. Not only have records of Pirkat Kavos' long-lost research been recovered, but now I'm testing his theory, and it was a success, no matter how you put it. It's a great success. Quite right, quite right. I'll have to publish out on an even larger scale. With results like this, an upgrade is naturally reasonable. I won't need to worry about research fund funds anymore. What happened? Most importantly, there hasn't been an academic breakthrough like this in many years. Not since Kashiwar was devastated by Pirkat Kavos accident. Now, there's hope for reviving the Kashur War thanks to the rediscovery of Pirkash Kavkus Kavikavus' research. Uh, goodness, uh, it's so wonderful, I can hardly believe it. I should have backed and recorded today's result while they're still fresh in my mind. If I have the opportunity to issue them publicly, I hope you both come to listen. After all, you have made a significant contribution to the project, and as its leader, I'm indebted to you. If you ever need any help, just come find me. Even if I'm busy, I'll always spare some time for you too. Because I lives in a flash. Arika not helpful at all. Yeah, poor guy. What do you mean? Didn't you complete your mission? Now those bad things that made the force sick? are sealed away, and those abyss order goons won't be able to do a thing. Using other people's strength is also wise. Uh, in those rights, some things just can't be done by yourself. There is no shame in getting some help from others. What's important is that you are protecting what you want to protect. This means our recon has protected Venom. Of course, even if it's not protected once and for all, 
At least you healed the fourth illness. Uh, isn't that your contribution? Uh, yes. Thank you, Paimon, and thank you, Narinus, our Rika's friends. Uh, okay, I don't know what the guy did, but my quest was to kill the Abyss Mages, and I just set up a trap for them. And is that it? Uh, still, Mr. Jazari couldn't perceive Arika at all. Looks like he's a far cry from Precraft Cubs. Yeah, and didn't he promise to treat us some food from Sumeru? Did he? Darn it, we forgot to set up a time and place. Paimon hopes we'll run into him again. How about you, Arika? We'll stay in the Vantaka Mountain. That guy's gone, and the things that make Vanna sick are sealed now, all safe now. Or we can go back to Vanarana, tell other Aranara. Right? Or we can not forget Nara Ignus and Paimon. Don't forget our Recon. If I had completed this before, would he be part of the festival of Sava? Actually, don't remember. Was he there? <laughs> Uh, of course we won't, and we'll definitely come back to Vanarana if we get a chance. Okay, there are Ignis and Pamu, our Rico's friends. Ah, good. I thought this would take a little longer. Uh, okay. Is it, what, what do I have here? Ah, it's, it's that. I thought it was something else. But I do have that. And what's that? Mm. Uh. There are leaves uh, around. Yeah. Okay. And I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear them. Um, I guess tomorrow or after I'll do the event, and there's probably a new event coming soon. Ah, the change already. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'll stop here.